Okay, we're going to make this video here of a 7-inch Black & Decker automatic polisher that is uh, really old and really uh, in rough shape, but it works. And I'm going to turn it on in a minute and show you. It's got a few issues with the uh, switch and the cord. This cord is really long, but uh, it's not a three-pronged plug, and it should be because it's an aluminum cast tool. i got to try to hold this thing up and turn it on, so just bear with me a minute. Now, this ain't going to work. Mm. You can see it's a simple on-off switch right here. There's no guard. There's no guard on it. This is the on-off switch, just a rocker switch with, uh, the rocker switch works fine, but the cord, once you have to move this to get it to, I'll try to show you here, so, uh, this one's working hard. But this cord back in here is kind of dicey, so it needs, uh, but I'll tell you, the thing has got power. It's got power and it's got a lot of meat left on it. It's made to last. This wooden handle is, is uh, obviously turns in, screws into the side here. Uh, it's a rugged little tool. I would recommend more for using it for a showpiece. Clean it up, buff it up. This uh, casing will polish like brand new aluminum. Uh, seven inch automatic polisher, Black & Decker, Towson, Maryland. Uh, let's see what all else. I don't know what this is. This is some fitting that goes in into the bottom housing there. And here's the rest of it. So in any event, it's got a beat up uh, sanding disc on it. That could obviously be replaced. So anyway, it looks good. Talk to you soon. Take care.